nanotechnology. It's a mouthful of a word, but it's changing just about every aspect of life on our planet. Nanotech is the science of manipulating materials on an incredibly tiny scale, one billionth of a meter at a time. But scientists know that at that tiny scale, materials take on entirely new properties. It's changing the way we travel. It's changing the way we harness energy from the wind and the sun. It's even changing the way we treat diseases, once thought to be incurable. You can get the gold molecules right at the cancer tumor. It's so exciting. That's why I've been involved with this for 10 years. They make products lighter, stronger, more efficient, um, and more cost effective. The world of nanotechnology was focused on the University of Denver this week at the third annual Nano Renewable Energy Summit. New electronics, new communications, new industrial processes, new chemical processes, much more environmentally friendly processes, uh, ways to um, securitize our, uh, uh, the products that we manufacture, anti-counterfeiting, and you've got applications in agriculture, in food, in water, Again, all uh, the result of these new materials. Ten different nations have representatives here. They're sharing information on the latest developments in nanotechnology and green energy. But the key is getting the batteries so that they last longer, that they're more efficient, and that they're lighter weight. And that is going to be done through nanotechnology. The word may be a mouthful, but it's anything but boring. DU graduate student Eva Hawkinson is one of the participants at this year's conference. She's also one of the fastest women alive. It's idling now. Eva builds and races motorcycles in which she combines nanotech with green tech. I have a, a passion or maybe addiction for power and speed. But I also have a green heart and I, I really care for the environment. And the only way for me to combine those two passions in my life was to make a green racing vehicle. This is the battery-powered motorcycle she'll be using in the famous Pikes Peak Hill Climb. And this is the motorcycle now under construction that she hopes to use to break the motorcycle speed record at Bonneville Salt Flats. One of her bikes already holds the record for world's fastest electric motorcycle, zero to 60 in less than a second. Nanotechnology, ready or not, we're smoking forward into a strange new future.